The next week, I visited the National Arboretum for the first time with my sister for the peak bloom of azaleas. There are also bonsais, a friendship flower garden, a fern valley, and the old capital columns are perched there like runes in the woods. I'd say it's better than Ann Arbor except for the limited hours of operation and lack of old growth trees. I mean, the Bonsai Museum, as much as I think I would love it, closes at 3.30 and I don't know how I'm ever going to get there. Hopefully, I will make it happen one of these days. Later that day, we made it down to Anacostia to visit Frederick Douglass's home. Along the way, there was some really nice graffiti and a really, really large chair. One of the largest in the world. Um, the house was really nice. Apparently, he played the violin, and one of his grandsons became a concert violinist. Um, some other interesting things. Frederick Douglass was married twice. His second wife was an abolitionist, and the irony is that she was actually disowned by her father for their interracial marriage. It's also ironic because Douglas bought the house from a bankrupt developer who previously refused to lease to Irish or African Americans. Oh, and I was also surprised to find out how much Douglas had traveled. So not only did he teach himself how to read and write in English, he also learned French and there was one other language, I, just, I can't remember, and he lived and traveled all over Europe too. Pretty impressive, actually.